name is Enrique Nieto. Uh, I work in ABL for the last uh, 11 years. I'm actually the head of the policy unit. And I'm here today with uh, the team of ADEL that is putting together um, this, this forum, uh, this initiative to, to, to be with you. We have been thinking a lot about uh, the importance of, of community-led innovation. And Isabel actually mentioned the starting point uh, that, that drives us to, to, to be working around this. And it's about the need for transformational changes uh, in order to lead to an ecological, digital, and social transition that we need in Europe. We are facing a lot of problems, challenges around energy, housing, health, health, social inclusion, climate change, you name it. There are many issues that need to be tackled. And we are thinking how we can respond uh, uh, to these, these challenges that we face. So we have a challenging point of departure. And I think we all want to get to a point where uh, we are all in a better situation, both rural and urban areas, with digital transformation, with a green and low carbon economy, with decent basic services for everyone on care, education, mobility, sustainable value chain, sustainable food systems. And indeed, there are a lot of policy frameworks working around uh, these issues, and there are policy agendas being set at, at European level. And we do believe that um, there is a lot of power in community action. To, to be one of the key actors to accompany the transformation that the policies uh, expect to bring to Europe. So in order to make that transition, we really do need to innovate. We really need to do new things, change the way of doing uh, things at, at the local level in order to contribute to these things. And this is in itself challenging. And that's why we believe that by bringing local actors together, we can uh, put our our we can contribute to to improve this this situation, but of course it's not only about the local actors. And Isabel right right mentioned it. It's as well having the right enabling policy that uh, supports local communities to take this this innovative action. And that's kind of the framework that moves us to to launch the um, the, the, the the ELIF, the European Local Innovation Forum, from the perspective of uh, the, the implementation of community-led innovation uh, to transform our society through, through innovation. And so internally, we were thinking of, okay, we need to have some sort of definition that is able to capture what we understand as community-led innovation. And we have prepared a short article that hopefully my colleague would put now on the chat, where we elaborate a little bit on our uh, approach to community-led innovation. And, and it's very much in line with what Isabel was mentioning. Community-led innovation starts with implementing something new at the local level, a process, a service, a product. Doesn't need to be just technological. It could be about the way we do things as well at the local level. So it's a new creative process, service, and product that emerged from the local territory as a result of a participatory pro process that involves the local actors, the local communities in that, that process. And within that process, these communities try to seize the opportunities and address the local challenges. So the end result is a positive economic, environmental, and social impact in the territory. So it's about empowering local communities. It's about using the local capacities and supporting the local capacities of these actors, using the local assets, encouraging local collaboration. And as well, very important when we talk about innovation, it's about working with others within the territory, but as well outside the territory. Um, Isabel mentioned a very important point that I think drives as well our, our um, forum. And it's about working as well with those areas that are lagging behind in order not to create even further disparities in development. Uh, because those communities that have already very good social capital, they would be able to access, to be very innovative and so on. Those lagging behind, might not have that capacity. So that's one of, of our ambitions as well, is to be able to help those, those communities and enhance their capacity so they can uh, develop uh, further. So that's why we uh, created, or we are launching today this local innovation forum. And what we aim to, to do here is to create a space for experts and organizations that are connected at the local level in both urban and rural areas First of all, to learn experiences from experiences. So the peer learning, 
We want as well uh, to facilitate the exchange of ideas on how can we move forward around community-led innovation. We know the power it has to, for, and the importance for the future of Europe of, to support this type of innovative approach. That, as Isabel said, sometimes it could be disrupted, sometimes it's very incremental, but it's a type of innovative that puts people and European uh, citizens at the center. So in a sense, it could be said that it's also encouraging a more democratic development in, in, in the sense. But also, we want to create this space to draw lessons uh, as well at the policy level so that we can boost innovation in local communities as well. And how do we aim to do that? Well, as you know, this is an ADL initiative. ADL is an association that already implements a lot of initiatives, right? And um, on, on key thematic areas. So we want to encourage all the members of the local innovation forum to learn as well from this experience, to capitalize already on the rich uh, information that we generate within the, the number of projects we implement. So our first objective in this forum is actually to enhance communication. So to boost the communication channel, so to get you informed, okay? Um, on the other hand, all the members of the forum as well, they have rich experience, projects being implemented, ideas, etc. So we want to facilitate that exchange. And we can use the ELIF to do, to do this two-way communication. But also we want to create spaces where people can come together and talk to each other around a specific topic. So we are creating thematic communities. We want to create them with you. We want to design the future of these communities together with you. And so we are launching at the, for, at the moment two. One, as I mentioned, focusing on social innovation, more the social arena. So we will have a, a group discussion to shape with you the future of this thematic community. So it's not going to be just driven by ADL. We really want to create these spaces for you. And if I'm able to change the slides. Okay. And so before we start with the matters, we really would like to uh, run a, a quick uh, icebreaker uh, with you. So I would like to ask you to take your phones, uh, go to slido.com. You have here the code, hopefully colleagues as well put it in the chat. Let me stop sharing because now I need to share as well the, um, the Slido page. Voila, and in the meantime, hopefully you can manage to uh, start feeding. So basically the first, uh, the first question, we, we aim to have a word cloud and we want to collect from you in one word, if possible, uh, what local innovation means to you. Uh, and hopefully we, we can uh, have, uh, a nice work cloud with, with keywords about local innovation. And I, I've started seeing issues about democracy, democratic exercise, positive change, participation, cooperation, people, uh, capacities, empowerment, connections. Participation is becoming really big. Uh, I think uh, cooperation as well. So those are really key aspects that Hopefully, with with the Alif, we we manage to bring to bring some some action uh, there. I'll give some more time. I think it's it's really interesting. Survival. I see survival. I think it's a very important word. Um, so now I just activated the next question, uh, and the next question is about what are your motivations and interests to participate in the ELIF. So here we would like to get your views, your interest. So we can use this feedback again to uh, really shape uh, the way we design and structure the forum. As I said, the forum would uh, be, uh, is, is not gonna be something that it would be just designed here in Brussels in the, in, in the ADL building. We really want to co-design it with you. So I'm gonna try to share the screen because already we see some action there. I'm gonna just show you very quickly for a for few seconds. And please continue 
uh, to pull in your your ideas because later on uh, we will provide a summary of what what the main interests are. So don't hesitate to continue to to continue answering this, and we will provide you a, a good summary of 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 what your interests are, and 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 hopefully it fits as well the discussion we will have in the thematic communities. <laughs>